hello friends so this is another question on signal flow graph which we are going to discuss and here uh, you have to find the transfer function okay so we have the signal flow graph with uh, the respective forward paths branches the individual branch gains everything given so we have to find out the transfer function with the help of Mason's gain formula. So for that we have to identify some uh, parameters, some uh, things. First we have to identify the forward paths. Okay, the forward paths we have to identify. So first forward path which we can see here is this. Okay forward path P1 R 1 2 3 4 5 C okay this R 1 2 3 4 5 and C and the gain is G1 G2 G4 okay g1 g2 g4 that is the gain the second forward path which we can see is this see r1 then directly to 5 then c okay always pay attention to the direction of the arrowheads it is pointing in the forward direction r1 then directly to 5, 1 to 5, then C. So that is path 2. R, 1, 5, C. And the gain is simply G3. Okay, because here it is 1. Nothing is given means the gain is 1. So it is G3. Then is... The third for forward path so that if you can see here R 1 2 3 then from 3 to 5 this this direct forward arrowhead from 3 to 5 okay so then to see so R 1 2 3 5 and C and it has gain G1 G2 G5 product of the individual path gains so it is G1 G2 G5 okay now now we have to identify the loops okay the loops we have to identify which start and end at the same node so this is the forward paths then the loops so the first loop see 3 4 again then begin back to 3 so it is 3 4 3 gain is minus g4 h1 okay that that is the first loop then the second loop if you notice it is 2 3 4 5 okay 2 3 4 5 2 that is the second loop 2 3 4 5 2 and the gain is minus g2 g4 h2 g2 g4 and then minus h2 so it is minus g2 g4 h2 
okay and then another loop is c pay attention again 2 3 then again from 3 to 5 this along this direction this path g5 2 3 5 and then back to 2 okay see 2 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 2 this is another loop which starts and end at the same node without any node repeated more than once so 2 3 5 2 and the gain is minus g2 g5 h2 it is minus g2 g5 h2 okay so we have identified the paths the loops now we will see the path factors that is whether the path particular path has touched all the loops or not now here for uh, path 1 we have to determine whether it is touching all the loops or not so the best way to find out is to see if there are any common nodes between the path and the loop if there is any common node it means the path is touching the loop if it is not then it is not touching so for path p1 r1 2 3 4 5 c see here it is 3 3 is there 4 is there so p1 is touching l1 here also 3 4 3 4 p1 is touching l2 here 3 2 it is there so 2 3 is there p1 is touching l3 so p1 is touching all the loops so the path factor let us write it down here the path factor for path 1 is 1 minus sum of the loop gains of the loops which the path has not touched as it is touching all the loops so it is 0 so that is equal to 1 okay then for path 2 okay r15c p2 here l1 is 3 4 3 so if you see there is no common node between p2 and l1 nothing is common so p2 is not touching l1 okay r15c 2 3 4 5 5 is there so p2 is touching l2 here also 5 is there in l3 so p2 is touching l3 so P2 is only not touching L1. So path factor for P2 is 1 minus L1. Loop gain 1. So it is 1 minus minus G4 H1 which is equal to 1 plus G4 H1. This L2 is simply 1 plus G4 H1. This is 1, this is 1 plus G4 H1. Next for P3, it is 1 R1, 2, 3, 5, C. So 3 is there, P3 is touching L1. Here also 3 is there, P3 is touching L2. Here also 3 is there, so P3 is touching L3. Just find out the one common node between them. You don't have to find out all the common nodes. If there is only one node common between the path and the loop, it means it is touching. Okay, just find that one common node. So P3 is touching all the loops. So path factor for P3 is 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. So now we have found out the forward path gains the loop gains the path factors now we just have to find out whether there are any uh, non-touching loops so non-touching loops same thing find out if all the loops the the path of the loops they have the nodal paths they have any common nodes in between them if they have common nodes it means they are touching each other so see 3, 4, 3. 3 is common in all the loops. 3 is common in all the loops. As I said, you don't have to find out 
multiple common nodes if there is only one common node it means that it is touching so three is common in all the loops so they are all touching each other there is no two or three non-touching loops here so we have found out all the things now we have to put the values in mason's gain formula equation so we have found out all the uh, parameters required for mason's gain formula so now we will put the values now we all know as per mason's gain formula the transfer function it is given by the sum of the forward path gains and the path factor the product of the forward path gains and the path factor summation and the graph determinant that ratio so here there are three forward paths so three path factors will be there and there are three loop gains involved no non-touching loops so this whole equation it will get modified as this three by one minus l1 plus l2 plus l3 this and here all the loops are touching as we have already discussed all the loops are touching so no concept of touch uh, non-touching loops okay so here we'll simply substitute these values okay and we'll get the transfer function so that is equal to g1 g2 g4 multiplied with 1 plus g3 multiplied with 1 plus g4 h1 plus g1 g2 g5 multiplied with 1 divided by 1 minus minus g4 h1 minus g2 g4 h2 minus g2 g5 h2 so when we'll open the bracket they will become plus this is the transfer function as per mason's gain formula for this signal flow graph okay so it is a little bit you know time consuming but uh, you should go for the each individual steps carefully and uh, proceed and you will get the right answer okay